In this video set, we're going to do challenge 79, 80, and 81. So let's see what we have. It says, can you see the pattern here? So let's see what we have as a pattern. It says, turn to bridge, and then we need to step the distance to the bridge. Okay, so that's going to get us to here. We're obviously then going to need to turn to the match and then step the distance to the match. And then repeat our steps, come back to the bridge and then to the pile and drop. Okay, so what I need to do next here, I'm going to need to do a turn to match. And then we're going to need to step the distance to match. And then we're going to need to turn to, oh, I need to grab that match. Sorry about that. And then we need to turn to the bridge. And then we need to step the distance to the bridge. And then we're going to need to turn to the pile. And then we're going to need to step the distance to the pile. And then obviously we're going to have to drop the match. Okay. So let's see if this works here. Over to the match, go back to the bridge and drop. <laughs> so that should be relatively easy again. Uh, shouldn't be anything crazy different here for us. Let's see what challenge 80 has for us. Okay, so here we go with uh, challenge 80. It says, here we define the function go to. So as you can see, it says this function will achieve the turn to part of it and then also the step distance. So by using a go to, it's going to combine our turn to and step to together. Okay. Uh, you can see they left us a little note. This is how you define a function. And you can see our function, it's called, uh, it's labeled go to equals a, and you can see that encompasses the turn to and then a step distance to. Okay, so hopefully this will save us a few steps as we move forward. So first, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see it says go to bridge, go to match. Remember, these encompass the turn to and step distance to. We're going to then grab the match, okay? And then we're going to need to go to, again, we're going to need to get that go to bridge. Remember, that'll, that'll achieve the turn to and step distance to. And then we need to go to the pile, and then we're going to drop that, okay? So let's see if this works here for us. There you go. So hopefully you can see how this will save us a little bit of code by using that go to. Remember, go to is the same as using a turn to and then step distance to. We're just combining. All right. Next one on our 81 says, let's get one match at a time. Okay. Again, we are using that go to function here. So what we have here, we have a go to match is zero. We're going to grab that match. Then we're going to go to the pile and we're going to drop it. So we're just going to repeat that same type of code here for matches one. All right. So we're going to go to matches one and I'm just going to click on this. There we go. And then I'm going to grab the match and then I'm going to go to the pile and I'm going to need to drop it. There you go. Let's see if this works for us. There you go. You can see how that function works. It's saving us extra steps. There we go. Remember, guys, code uh, helps when we're more efficient. So hopefully it helps out with challenges 79, 80, and 81.